Good evening, folks. Good to see all of you out tonight. Nice evening. Nice evening. Kind of mild, actually. Better than usual. <laughs> yep. We are delighted to be here tonight to present a man who is to Cabot Arts that Johnny Appleseed is to apples. <laughs> I thought about this. I really did. <laughs> it bears your signature. <laughs> Dana has put together a arts council in Cabot that uh, is enviable for yeah. any community. Yeah. We took one step in that direction last June and we'll be taking another step uh, this coming June when we have our second Worcester Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes. <laughs> that time is June 8th and I think publicity is, some publicity is already out. Uh, we're issuing a call. This is the call time. And we want to collect names of uh, potential artists and vendors. Dana Robinson has uh, really done a wonder at Cabot. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it was his initial album, correct me if I'm wrong, Dana, which I know you will, <laughs> was entitled The Town That Music Saved. Is that right? Yes, in, like inspired by the book about Hardwick called The Town That Food Saved. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Ben Hewitt. Ben yes. Hewitt. So he has appeared here once before, and we are delighted that he's been able to come back. This is our final concert <coughs> of the year. We'll be having our uh, Christmas light ceremony uh, coming up in, in December, but this is the, the end of the concert series and we've, we've been very highly entertained by some wonderful folks. Uh, so, take it away. Thank you, David. Man. You're thank, welcome, thank, sir. Thank welcome you very again. much. Hi, everybody. So, my daughter and wife, Susan, since her regrets that she can't be here tonight, she's with her parents in Manchester. Her parents are quite elderly and needing attention from time to time, and so she's doing that. What's quite elderly? I won't well, uh, <laughs> mid, mid, mid 90s. Oh, that's, that is, that's, yeah, okay. that's quite elderly. They, they, they need help from time to time. So, so I'm here, and I'm happy to see you all here. And uh, I'll sing some songs for you. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Uh, so, so David's told me uh, um, uh, th that we're going to do uh, a, a set of music, and then we're going to have a short intermission, and then I'll have a, another short set of music after that, just so you know what's going on here. So I'm going to start with um, a song uh, that was written by Pete Sutherland. Mm -hmm. Pete Sutherland passed away about a year ago now. Yeah. And um, I kicked myself for not learning more Pete songs before he passed away, but I've learned a bunch in the last year, and I love them, and I'm happy to sing them. And this is one that, that really caught my ear. Um, I, I like writing about uh, Vermont and, and, and all things about Vermont, but I never would have written a song about Swanton. <laughs> and he did so here from the point of view of the birds who live and migrate around swamps. So this is called from a bird's eye view. And there's a part for you to sing on this. And I don't need to teach it to you because I think you'll get the hang of it because I repeat it so many times. <laughs> From a Cisquoy to McQuarrie, the trees and the forests and the rivers flowing on. You've heard about the land and the local history too, but to really see it all, you need a bird's eye view. Side view. Here it is from a bird. 
bird's eye view, there's a lake so blue. Highways and flyways, we're all connected to a haven and a habitat, a home for humans too. That's the place we call Smalton from a bird's eye view. Songbird, I'll tell you of a time. A lion rock quarries and a bog iron mines. The marble mills boomed and the factory whistles blew. It was a hustle and a bustle from a bird's eye view. Pete said the Pope's down in Tabor's turkey farm. There were 40,000 of us there in one enormous barn. The summer on the island where the huckleberries grew And they watched the barges passing from a bird's eye view From a bird's eye view there's a lake so blue Highways and flyways we're all connected to A haven and a habitat, a home for humans too That's the place we call Swanton from a bird's eye view high up in the sky. A bird's foot delta, that's a place we recognize. The bays and the wetlands, a world of greens and blues. As pretty as a picture from a bird's eye view. The young cried the seagull miles from the sea. Down a shaggy's parking lot, that's the place to be. Hot and crispy fries, someone always drops a few. Well, it's worth a trip to Swanton from a bird's eye view. From a bird's eye view, there's a lake so blue. Highways and flyways, we're all connected to. A haven and a habitat, a home for humans too. That's the place we call Swanton from a bird's eye view. an awful mess. We're grateful for the refuge, but mighty nervous too. Oh, where well, the world is full of danger from a bird's eye view. Hawk cried the swans from the fountain downtown. We swim around and eat, then we eat and swim around. We watch you making wishes with your dimes and nickels too. Well, here's a wish for Swanton from a bird's eye view. From a bird's eye view, there's a lake so blue. Highways and flyways, we're all connected to. A haven and a habitat, a home for humans too. That's the place we call Swanton from a bird's eye view. Vermont songs, but then going out into different parts of the United States. Um, from 1995 to when soon I moved here in 2015, uh, we basically spent our life on the road, putting on like average 50,000 miles a year, driving back and forth across the country, doing shows. And, um, you know, we put off going to Florida for a very long time. <laughs> I thought Florida was overrated. I'm kind of a northern attitude sort of person, you know. However, Florida in February is not that bad. <laughs> Especially when all the state parks in Florida have some sort of entertainment. Mm. Uh, summer and uh, a winter concert series outdoors. <laughs> so we got hired to play at the state park. And so picture this. 
people sitting in their lawn chairs, in shorts and t-shirts, mm -hmm. as the sun is going down, 70 degree weather, my mind is blown. <laughs> and uh, beautiful kind of wild forests of uh, Central Florida, believe it or not. Just in, in, it, it, was, it was so exotic, it feels so exotic, especially <laughs> since I had never been there before. I thought I was in some foreign country. I was in a foreign country, but it was Florida, so. <laughs> anyway, to top it off, but even before we started the show, this, uh, this, this, this big, tall, lanky, old, craggy dude with a cowboy hat kind of came up to me, thrust out his hand, and said, Hi, my name is Hank Matson. I'm a cracker cowboy. Poet, pleased to meet you. And I'm looking at him going, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, I said, well, you know, hi. And he says, now, yeah. You don't know me from Adam, but I want you to put your music to one of my poems. And I found it difficult to say no, and I just <laughs> told him just to go ahead and send me something in the mail, and, and or you know email me. And he said, I don't do that email stuff. <laughs> but you know, we got home a couple weeks later, and there was a envelope in the in the mailbox. And I opened it up, and it was a it was a poem he wrote in verses, and it said. It was called When This Old Hat Was New. I'm usually dubious when people send me their poems to put music to, but, but this one was good. <laughs> and and, and it, it ticked a box for me. It was about, it was about you know, his, the history of Florida, the cattle history. This takes place around Civil War times, and, mm -hmm. and it was just sort of this sweeping epic thing, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll give it a try. So, uh, uh, I really just sat down at my desk and kind of bashed this out, and it worked. And and um, I sent it to Hank, and Hank was very pleased. And I got a, um, uh, a a phone call from him, like maybe a year later, saying, "Hey, there's this Florida song contest. Do you mind if I submit our little song?" <laughs> and I say, "Go knock yourself out, Hank. Go for it." And, um, and then I didn't hear anything, I didn't hear anything, and like six months went by, and then I heard it won first prize. So, <laughs> so I was like, how do these things even happen, you know? <laughs> so I'll sing it for you here. It's, it's, a, it's from the point of view of a, an old cracker cowboy poet, a, a factual, a, a real person by the name of Jake Summerlin. And I'll just let him tell his tale here. <laughs> Uh, it's called When This Old Hat Was New. I am in no camp, I'm too old.
reach the north Federals closed our shores The chain, the blockade were on our kept goods sailing through And the cubic trade was still maintained This old pack was new Where we lost the war but not the land Full pardons we was given Our beef again was in demand We thanked Jake and Heaven song is when uh when, loving the works you do is the thing loving the works you do is the thing and made our dreams come true i guess that's the whole point of life isn't it well um i think it was probably 2017 or 18 sue and i were on tour in california and you know we've had rain lately or they've had rain lately um but California is basically in a, a state of chronic drought. And uh, I, I grew up in California. I left there when I was 16. Um, and I ne never went back to, to live. I've been through there for touring. But I mean, I grew up in my mind seeing lakes and reservoirs pretty full. And, uh, and, and then on this particular tour, it was just astounding seeing them just almost empty, absolutely parched looking, and just really scary, dry. And uh, we spent some time in Yosemite, where of course we're always inspired by John Muir, and, and the work that he did establishing the park, and, and just his legend. And so that kind of came together to make the song here. It's called uh, John Muir's Walking Blues. <laughs> story too is Vermont could have Vermont's had dry years right mm -hmm. we have shallower wells than most places so oh. mm -hmm. the mean it, just because it's the green state doesn't mean we can take our water for granted <laughs> Don't come 
Remember the year the oldies fled, and I've made the very same bed. You got the John Muir blues, I've got John Muir's walking blues. I wrote a grant to the Vermont Arts Council with an idea for an album. And I had some, I, Vermont, well, the, the, the idea was to write an, an entire uh, album with Vermont inspired songs. I had a couple, I had a few ideas. And for the rest of the ideas, I thought, well, I'll just drive around the state looking for stories. The fact of the matter is, I didn't have to drive anywhere. All the stories were like within spitting distance of Cabot. And I think that you could probably do the same for Worcester, mm -hmm. Middlesex, yep. or any, any little town's got just a trove of, of, of great stories and things specific to the nature of, of, of just a little micro region. I've got, a, I've got a great one for you. I've got to tell you about it. Go, go ahead and tell me no, now. No, 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 later. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, but one, one of the ideas I came to this, this project with was, okay, so you know when you're driving into Vermont from out of state, all of a sudden it feels <laughs> different. Yeah. Yeah. You could have a, I, I convinced you, you have a blindfold on and you would still know it. Sure. <laughs> Well, the roads are worse. <laughs> <laughs> that too. So, uh, so this this I, this has just been on my mind for years, and I thought, okay, I'm going to try to figure it out. Why is it? It's still a mystery, but this this song uh, kind of has helped me kind of work through the different ideas. I'm not going to tell you the title of it because that would give it away. But um, but uh, I'll just go ahead and sing it. All right, ready, go. <laughs> so long ago I was traveling up from the flatlands low as I crossed over to Vernon Town something hit me all around return I did and then again for another hit of that miss 
mystery And then one day it came to me Behold, my eyes could finally see There are no billboards There are no billboards There are no billboards on these roads and maple trees and how the air picks up their scent as it drifting through the leaves it could bend the way the light moves slow low across the vast and verdant hills or the endless waves of green Oh, my dear heart, please be still Cause there are no billboards You can sing that There are no billboards There are no billboards On these roads tell of lost and older ways I guess things just change more slowly here and I just like watching the cows graze when knocks up to Jay Peak the Connecticut River across to Lake Champlain there's nothing to take my gaze away from this brave little state where there are no billboards, there are no billboards, there are no billboards on these roads. One time. Now there are no Y'all get it. I don't sing that one in New Hampshire <laughs> or New York or you could sing it in California, they think it's cute, but <laughs> let's see. Good scenery and out the back windows of the house. Uh, some beautiful hill in the back, and often Paul's horses go running by. Mm -hmm. Movable scenery. It's a beautiful thing. I was happy to mention the sort of obliquely mention the, the horses in this song. Mm -hmm. Also, <clears throat> the song's kind of about the Winooski River, which is about 100 yards from our house. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote this. Started writing the song on the day that Ceres got 
lifted mm -hmm. on top of the state house. Mm -hmm. I was so, you know, just the statue got lifted up by a big crane and put, put there, but there's something about it that was just so mm -hmm. moving. Yes. Uh, I, I can't, I don't, don't really understand what it how, was. How many of you were there? <laughs> My thought was, you know, you know, the last one, the one that they took down was getting to be a hundred ish years old and that one was made of pine. Wow. And uh, it was time to, it, I heard it was rotten through, it was you know, time to replace it. But this one now is made of mahogany. And it's painted and I'm sure all these new tech paint that will help restore it for years and years. And um, So can you imagine the things that series, I'm anthropomorphizing here a bit, but can you, can you imagine <laughs> what that series will witness yeah. mm -hmm. in the next hundred or more years you know, of, of the new ski river <laughs> going by and Montpelier sort of changing before our eyes. And, and it, it just, you know, it really kind of moved me. <laughs> Mm. And you know, driving up to towards Cabot, going home, it's like it, there's there's this watershed, there's this valley. And... So I guess I'll, I'll just I'll try to sing this and I'll try to remember the words. <laughs> and it's this very seasonal song here too. So. Thanksgiving Day, we went tromping through the woods. The green man had just shed his clothes. A bounty of leaves made a blanket of gold, or some of ancient gray stones. This is the land where the storms come to die. Here's where they run out of steam There's nothing around here for to brighten their eyes Nothing to sustain their greed T'was here where our forebears said the land It was good Here we can build a new life Harness the water to mill our own wood will sow, then we'll reap with the scythe. Though the winters are dark and the winters are long, to this place we call our home. Just like a lover who knows all your songs, for this place. We gladly atone.
wild green onions that sprout in the spring will rise from the banks of the river. Let's do something now, our children be proud. It's time for us now to deliver. Thanksgiving Day, we went tromping through woods where tamaracks beamed in their glory. If we find ourselves lucky to live in this place, come let us continue the story. very much. Well, um, here's a song I wrote in when I was living in Westfield back in 93 or 4. And um, it, 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 <laughs> I, I've just started singing this one again because it just, it just so rings true. I mean, um, back then it was learning how to build stuff, learning how to grow stuff, living off the grid hauling water, you know, uh, my son's diapers in and out on a sled to the laundromat in Newport. They went out cold and wet, they came back light and dry. You know? <laughs> but um, today, you know, it's been the past couple days have been good for doing yard work, right? We put the gardens to bed. I was cutting down the ras some of the raspberry canes. I was hauling manure, thank you Paul. <laughs> so this song, um, like I said, I wrote back then, and it, it, it's, it's like it's still the same. This is called Raspberry King. Well, each and every day I 
highway could take us home from off the hill Put them in that old stone row and make it longer still Put them in, put them in their stories much the same There's never been the years gone by ain't pulling raspberry cane who are, are traveling songwriters and they're playing all these concerts all over the country still and, and they mostly come from more populated places, suburbs and cities and stuff. Not a lot of them live in very rural areas because there ain't no money in the rural areas. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm thinking, well, why, why aren't I doing that? And I think the thing that, and maybe you might identify with this, the thing that nourishes me the most in life is feeling connected to the forest and the landscape around me. Simply put, you know, just to walk off the trail, just walk through the forest and just to see what's happening. Just what's growing? What's the shape of the land? What does the air smell like? What's the water doing? What's the sky doing? Where do the birds sound like? How does the light, you know? All this stuff just kind of, you know, I've become a news junkie since all this stuff that I don't want to talk about, you know? But the, but the antidote to that is walking in the, in, in just in the wildness and, and the beauty of it. So I think I mentioned that to introduce this song because this is a gift, literally just a gift from, from the landscape or whatever. It's a, we did this show in this, this rural place and on the day off after that, I just took a walk up the, up the little valley. And um, it was just kind of a normal fall day. It was a little bit chilly. And I felt something. And I stopped and I put my hand up and the air was warm, like bathtub warm up here. Mm -hmm. And it was cold down there. So I stood there like a fool going on. <laughs> And I'm like, yep, I'm not imagining this. This is real. And so um, I didn't make this connection until like the next day that the very place we were staying in was called the Zephyr Valley. So it was the warm Zephyr wind that was actually yeah. happening on that day. Hmm. So, um, so that's where this comes from. listen, I'm 
until you cannot hear a sound. This old valley whispers secrets about the world It's turning round to hear them You must listen until you cannot hear a sound Zephyr wind, hark the cows Distant lowing, Zephyr wind Where the hyacinth are growing Brings every moment fleet and joyful in its greeting from a distant zephyr wind. Joyful in its greeting from a distant zephyr wind. Thank you. Well, I'll do a couple more for you here. I warned you this would be a short set. <laughs> Y'all have been very nice to sing to so far. So uh, a couple things that happened in Cabot, in case you were, uh, uh, just in case you don't know, every Sunday afternoon since September of 2017, no, Yes, 17. There has been an old-time jam session at Harry's Hardware. Mm -hmm. It's a great fun thing. And um, it goes from 12 to 2. Lately, it's been going from 12 to 4. It's because there's enough people and people don't want to stop playing and the place closes at 4 and they just let us exhaust ourselves. <laughs> so it, it's really nice. And, and it's a, I, I recommend if you haven't checked it out, if you got some friends from town and it's a Sunday and you're looking for something to do, head on over to Harry's. Mm -hmm. It's a cool scene. This is, it kind of typifies the kind of, well, we play a lot of, there's two things. We play a lot of kind of, up, this is a song, maybe there's a song every five or six or seven tunes that we do. So it's not a lot of songs, but they say old time music, it's better than it sounds. <laughs> this, this one's called uh, Down, Down the River I Go Uncle Joe, and you can sing that part with, with me.
How can a young man stay at home when he does look so well? Help me out. Down the river I go. in a room like this, isn't it? Let's see. <laughs> That's all, thank you. <laughs> tuning now to a C tuning, so it's, 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 it's a pretty sound. So uh, I've often done this one last. It's, it's not an upbeat number, but, but it, it is appropriate. Traveling, I was I was never really homesick, ever. I was just very much in the in, in the place I, where I was. However, uh, wrote the music for this the the morning that Sue and I met, hmm. right? So I hung on to this music. It was it was good. It was good. Very auspicious. And then we had a long distance relationship for a long time, and um, I uh, went over to England for a tour and um, she wasn't there and all of a sudden I was homesick. Right? I was like, what is this weird feeling? So, at, at the end of the night in these folk clubs that we play in, uh, they say as a way of saying goodnight, they say safe home or safe journey home. And they say it in such a way, with this American accent you cannot come close to saying mm -hmm. the, the kind of graciousness that they mm -hmm. say it with. But, um, but I wrote the song to uh, express that I was missing Sue and that um, I was looking forward to being back home, but also kind of an homage to the good folk folks there. So uh, we'll give a little bit of this to, to this room here in Worcester. And, and thank you all again for, for, for coming and being part of this this evening. I, it was nice to sing for you. This is called Safe Home. Cupboard. 
couch to take a nap Safe home, safe home There's a paper in the morning The sun's upon the stairs Safe home, safe home The kind word is waiting for to take away my cares Safe home, safe I've been away for so long now, I don't know how it feels to be safe home, safe home. I've been bumping down the road with my head in jigs and reels, safe home, safe home. All I want to do is lay my head down in your hands And be safe home, safe home To dream a little dream with my feet upon the land Safe home, safe home Safe home to dream a little dream of my feet upon the land. Safe home, safe home.